Large fish easily uproot most plants. One thing I've personally done in the past is put the plants in net pots and surrounded them with rocks. Aquarium Co-op actually made this into a product and I bought it about a year ago and wanted to give my long-term review after using it. So here's the Easy Planner in one of my aquariums. So it's a product made by Aquarium Co-op. My story with this product, as I said in the intro, is I originally, I always had problems with plants being uprooted by either goldfish or blood parrots. And so one thing I did for plants that required the roots to be a nutrient-rich substrate and really be buried was I would put them in net pots, put the nutrient-rich substrate in there, and then surround the net pots with rocks. And so this actually worked really good, but when I saw Aquarium Co-op launch Easy Planner product, I thought, oh, this makes perfect sense. Looks like an even easier solution and probably will even look better. So yeah, I saw them launch it, I think on a live stream they had, so I decided, oh, I'm gonna give it a try when I was rescaping this tank behind me. And originally I put smaller storage into it. Um, I later read on a blog that it really isn't ideal for storage and I kind of have that in my pros and cons later on, but it will work for a good amount of plants, probably smaller plants like crypts and such, just more ideal. Well, overall, it did do its job, and overall, I have pretty positive thoughts on it. Um, I do have some thoughts for what kind of improvements I would make or things I would kind of wish I had in the product or some of the other options. Uh, pretty much, I kind of want to go through the pros and cons of it after using it for nearly a year, and then kind of my suggestions and kind of what I wish the product had and my kind of final thoughts. I will also note that the product I'm reviewing is the one from Aquarium Co-op. Um, looking around online, I did find one on Amazon from AFA Aquatics. It's kind of a slimmer version. Um, it looks like it does the exact same thing. It actually looks very similar. I can't comment on the quality, but if you did want a slimmer version, that possibly is an option. So I'll link both the Aquarium Co-op one and that one in the description. But anyway, let's go on to the pros and cons. First, talk about the good thing, the pros. So first is it does what it says. Um, it's very easy to put the plant in there, put it in a net pot, put whatever substrate you want around the roots of the plant. I personally like to set up the net pot outside of the aquarium. And then the Easy Planner, I like to put it in first because you do have to make sure you get air out of it. And I just kind of like to gently put the net pot in the Easy Planner once the Easy Planner is already sitting at the bottom of the tank. And what's in there is pretty good. It's actually, uh, as long as you're careful, um, you can move the plant around pretty easily while it's in the tank already. Next, it looks good. Um, it's pretty simple design, but it looks good. It looks like a natural rock. It's not, but um, it overall does. So that's just a little positive there. I'm also say um, it is pretty easy to hide. You can, even if you don't like the color of it, you can have other rocks in front of it. Like I always had it in this tank and I've had it in the background. And so you can't even really see it. But if you look close, you'll kind of just even think, oh, that just kind of looks like a rock. And one problem I've had in the past is with my DIY solution is sometimes the substrate in the net pot will come out and uh, kind of scatter around the tank. I think this is a better solution for keeping that nutrient substrate if it's not in the rest of your tank, just in that one area within the net pot or within the Easy Planner, so that's another little, quick little benefit. Next, it's high quality. I'm not sure the material it's made out of, but I don't see it degrading. I really think if you buy it, you know, it's like 10 bucks, uh, it'll last for years and years and years. You know, I, I don't think it's really something you'd have to replace. The last thing is, um, because it is kind of tall, I think it also helps with LOS breaks. One thing I did like about this tank is uh, when I had two in the back behind all my rocks and caves, it kind of almost created little caves in the back. Um, so almost created little like sections of caves. This is nice when I have some more aggressive fish in here um, and kind of want some more LOS breaks. So. Now for cons, the bad things. First thing here is it could support larger net pots. It really only supports kind of the small ones, the skinny ones. Um, and I thought this was kind of bummer, especially with seeing how large the actual easy planners are. Um, really, I want to use them for large swords. And I really think you want the large size net pots for large swords where really this only supports the small ones. Um, so eventually your swords are kind of going to outgrow it. And so I really wish that they did have at least another version that supported the larger net prod. They could have maybe two, two versions. It would be kind of ideal. Next is it could be slimmer. So this is kind of, there's good and bad about kind of the size of it. Uh, with the LOS breaks, I said it's good because it can add LOS breaks and kind of add to having little caves in your tank. Um, great if you have more aggressive fish, but it is kind of bulky, it's kind of large. And so this is more negative, especially if you have a smaller tank. If you have like 10 gallon, one of these is really gonna take up like almost um, a quarter of the footprint of the tank, maybe a little bit less, but at least, at least a sixth. So you really can't have too many and it's gonna take up a good amount of room. I do think that they could have just made it slimmer, maybe even made two versions. I think that if they acquired us one for a smaller net pot, um, it looks like it makes a lot of sense. And then they could have kept the size of the one they have currently and just had the opening uh, a little bit bigger for a larger net pot. Uh, next is the material is pretty rough. And 
for a lot of fish, this isn't going to matter, but if you have like goldfish or betas, um, I know I saw some reviews complaining about um, it damaging their beta fins. So if you have like fancy goldfish or betas, uh, I wouldn't recommend the Easy Planner. Uh, kind of a benefit, I think it'd also be a good product for goldfish. Uh, maybe if they made a smoother version in the future, that'd be ideal. And next is you do need to be aware that you do need to clean it probably every month or two. Um, two main reasons. Uh, one, because it has kind of a hollow bottom, I'll show here. And so one, air will inevitably get a little bit trapped under there. Uh, do your best when you're setting it up to flip it upside down a few times to get as much out of it as you can. But also debris will end up getting under there too. And uh, you really, if you don't clean it for a year or more than that, uh, you really could uh, build up some bad stuff in your aquarium that once you do um, open it or flip it up, um, you know, it could release some bad stuff in your water. So that's the, just something to be aware of. Um, I'd say definitely, you know, every maybe like three months, at least every six months, uh, you really want to just like lift it up and clean what's under there. Now to talk about some advice I would think for really uh, improving this product in the future, things I guess I wish I'd have, I mentioned some of this in the cons, but I'll go over just, uh, first thing is I would like more sizes. I really think two sizes, honestly, I think if you have the original one that you have now, but it supports a larger net pot and then the AFA aquatic version uh, for smaller net pots, but it's slimmer, I think those two would be really the two ideal sizes. Uh, next, um, and maybe this isn't uh, economically feasible, but more styles would be cool. If you had a serious stone version, you had maybe a river stone version, then you have the kind of version you have now, that'd be ideal. Um, also with that, if you had at least one version that was smoother rocks, so you could have it for betas or goldfish, uh, you know, more delicate fish that are larger, um, that would be ideal. Next, if you had very small holes, just a couple, um, you probably could make them small enough to barely even see them. I really don't think they'd take away from this aesthetic, but this would help with um, air ended up ending up in it. You wouldn't have to flip it as often, you wouldn't have to clean it as often, and probably end up letting some debris through as well. So it helped with reducing the need for cleaning, also help for setting it up. And last thing is, going goes back to multiple sizes, but I really am surprised that um, for how big it is, that it doesn't support larger plants like swords. You know, I look at it, I'm like, oh, that looks perfect for big plants like swords. So I really think just, um, you know, slimming down the space between the planter and the size of the net pot would be more ideal. And then the last thing I just wanted to kind of answer is, did I keep this in my tanks? I actually didn't. Um, the main reason is um, I just wanted it for larger plants like swords in this tank and it really didn't support them long-term. That pot wasn't big enough, so I ended up going with DIY solutions. So that's just end up what happened long-term for me. Um, really, it's for smaller plants. If I were to put it back in this tank, I'd probably put it more on the edges and just put like uh, crypts or something in there. But um, I probably will still use them in the future in a different tank. But for this tank, I just went with larger net pots and just put rocks around um, those larger net pots to keep them as safe as I could. Overall though, I am happy with it. Um, I don't regret my purchase by any means. Um, and I think it is a good option, especially if you just want a simple solution for securing a plant. But that does wrap up the review. Uh, let me know if you have any questions on this product or thoughts or anything I missed, um, or just your thoughts if you ended up using it. And if you enjoyed the video, or found it helpful, likes on it and subscriptions to my channel are very appreciated. But anyway, thanks again for watching and I'll catch everyone next time.